Good morning, South Elkhorn Christian Church. Good morning, good morning indeed. I'm Michael Schwarzentruber. I serve as senior minister here at South Elkhorn, and I am so glad to be with you on this special Sunday. As you can tell, it's special because I'm joined by a ninja and a Spider-Man. And for those of you who are worshiping online, if you could just see, and I have a sense you will see in a little bit, just the incredible costumes of those who have, who have uh, dressed up this morning in special and creative and fun and amazing ways. Because for the first time in 11 years, Halloween falls on a Sunday. And so we've taken this opportunity to get creative, to have a little fun, and to enjoy this special fall day. So I want to say a big welcome to those of you who, are, who have driven in this morning or in your cars tuning in to 91.1 FM. Hello to you. It is good to see you. Share your uh, waves with one another as well. Greet one another in the peace of Christ. It is good to hear your honks of praise this morning too. And for those of you who are seated out in this, under this beautiful fall sky, who have bundled up, who have dressed up, I want to say a special welcome to you. I am so glad that you're here on this Halloween Sunday. Welcome. You can say hello to one another by waving your hands at each other and passing the peace of Christ in your own way this morning. For those of you who are in the Christian Ministry Center watching this service projected on the big screen, hello to you. I'm so glad that you're here this morning. Wave at one another and say hello. And to those of you who are tuning in online through our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or our church website, hello to you. I am so glad that you're here. If you can, I invite you to comment on the live stream to say hello to those who are worshiping with you. Let us know where you're worshiping from. And I would like to invite everyone to fill out the connection card. Um, you can find the link for that in your worship guide. There's a link in the video description of the um, live feed. Uh, there's a link on our website. You can also use your smartphone camera if you um, have a hard copy and you see the QR code. Would love for you to share that you're worshiping. Would love for you to sign up for different church communications, share a prayer request. Uh, and I'd love to follow up with you if you are a visitor this morning, especially encourage you to fill out a connection card. I'd love to talk more with you. Well, you might be wondering if today's such a special Sunday and there's so many people dressed up in all these wonderful, amazing, different ways, why do I look so plain, so incredibly plain? Well, um, Spider-Man, can you help me? Can you grab, can you grab that, uh, that, that costume right there? Right there. Yep, right there. Grab that for me. So I thought maybe, you know, I, I wasn't really sure what I would wear, and so I thought maybe, maybe I'd put on an old football jersey, and I was like, you know, this... This just I, I did this last year. It's not very creative. I wish there was someone in our church who, ha, who was just creative and, and, had, and had an incredible number, an incredible number of, of costumes, maybe just like itemized and categorized in binders from her attic. I just wish there was someone who could help me get creative. But alas, I'm not sure I know anyone. Well, oh my goodness, so... I feel like I need to be on social media so I can tweet. This is incredible. Holy, uh, well, uh, you are in luck this morning. I, have a, I, I suspect that Pastor Holly is going to help me this morning get into costume, get into character. So I'm excited to share in worship with you this morning. I'm excited that we can begin by center, centering ourselves in the presence of Christ who meets us here. Um, it's a special Sunday for two more reasons, two more reasons. This is indeed the last Sunday we are intending and scheduled to be outdoor for this year. And so what a beautiful opportunity to let this be an incredible memory for us to carry in our hearts, this creative, fun, beautiful Sunday together on this last Sunday in October. It's also a special Sunday because many children this morning are going to lead us in worship, including, including the, witty, the witty family who I'm inviting forward to uh, lead us in the call to worship. Oh, Danielle. Danielle will lead us this morning in the call to worship. And Lawson, come on up, Lawson. Perfect. Please respond with the words, rejoice, be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad. God is here and loves us each and every one. Rejoice, be glad. Together we're God's family. Rejoice, be glad. We get to love and help each other too. Rejoice, Rejoice. be glad. Let's continue. Go ahead.
Well, as we continue in worship this morning, I want to invite you to continue to center yourselves in the presence of Christ as we enter into a time of prayer. Lately, I've been reading books by Alan Gratz. He is an author that writes about World War II. It is about people in the worst, harsh conditions. They don't have a lot in this time, and, and when they get these simple blessings, they are so happy, even when they receive something as small as brushing their teeth. I would like to say a short prayer for all of our simple blessings. Dear God, help us remember that we have a lot, even though it is easy to forget. Help us others realize all of our blessings, too, that we take for granted. In your name we pray, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, as we forgive our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us on, on temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, this morning, I want to invite all the children to come down and uh, grab a seat right here where the prayer squares are this morning. This morning, this morning, the sermon and the children's moment are coming together in one collaborative unit together. So I'm, I'm excited and I'm hoping, I mean, look at all these incredible, incredible costumes. Incredible. Co I see a crab, Pikachu, fireman. Oh my goodness. Just amazing. I'm a, Hufflepuff, I was instructed, not Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Minecraft, oh, you all are so creative, so incredible, and I must admit, I'm, I was kind of out of ideas this morning, kind of out of ideas this morning. I said, you know, maybe, maybe I'll just try and dress up like a suburban dad. I feel like I nailed that, didn't I? I got that, but that, that's just not very inspiring, not creative. I thought... What could I be this morning? What, what could I be this morning? And I thought, you know what? What if, what if I dressed up like a Christian? What if I dressed up like a Christian? I wonder what, what are Christians supposed to wear? What are Christians supposed to look like? And I thought, well, maybe, maybe Christians are supposed to wear big robes like this. You know, sometimes you might see people wearing these big robes. And I thought, oh, that's what, no, that's not, that doesn't. That's not very practical for one. It's kind of hard to move around. And no, that Christians don't, this isn't what Christians are supposed to wear necessarily. Hmm, let me think. What else? What else, Mike? Kendall Adams. Is Kendall Adams? Yeah. Can you, can you help me this morning? Can you read some scripture? Maybe, maybe um, there's a letter in the New Testament where we can learn a little bit more what it means to dress up like a Christian. Would you mind reading for us? Our scripture reading is from the book of Colossians. Listen to the word of God. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against one another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you can also must forgive all Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together with, in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body, and be thankful. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks A collection be to God. of costumes that might help me figure out how to dress up like a Christian. I might have a few ideas to help you out this morning. I, th I think I need to have a uniform. I need to have okay. something. I need to have, a, a, you know, because like costumes hmm. are like uniforms. Do you have any? It Let me think. We have this firefighter or the no, baseball. No, no, nothing sinful like the Yankees. Oh, then I'm totally giving you that one. Here you go. There's plenty of grace to go around. Let's just say We're that. We're all on oh. the same team, Michael. Yeah, it's true. It's true. One of the things that costumes do is like, you know, I did play football at one point. Don't ask me to run now. But I did play football. And one of the things is when we all wore the same, 
the same uniform, it was a way of signaling that we're all on the same team. And, if, and, and, and a lot of what, what St. Paul says here in this letter is that we're supposed, to, we're supposed to be on the same team together. We're supposed to treat one another in the ways that you would teammates, that we are on the same team. So that makes sense, but it just, I don't know, doesn't, doesn't quite feel right. And I know, I know you've probably got a lot more in there that we could, we could right, work let's with. Let's look again. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, well, I mean, what, what did what did Saint Paul say? Um, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion. Do you have anything compassion. in there that would be like compassion? Yes. Let's try this. What do you think about this right here? This oh, doctor that robe. is perfect. There you go. That is perfect, especially after everything that we've been through these last two years. Let the me way help you. the way that our doctors and nurses yes. and medical professionals have shown us such incredible compassion. This is a great, I mean, compassion is about a kind of love and a kind of healing presence. This is, this is great. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, I'm not quite as colorful as you are, Pastor Holly, but. Uh, I flew all the way over here. Boy, oh, do my arms hurt. Oh, wow. You're in, <laughs> you are so special, Pastor Holly. This is, okay, okay. So, so I feel like, I, I feel, but it seems a little incomplete. I feel like I need a little more. What, what else do we have here? Let's see. Clothe yourselves with compassion. Kindness? Kindness. Do you have anything kindness. for kindness? Hmm. What might show kindness? I'm wondering, when I think about kindness, think about people like reaching out and giving a hand to others, a hand up, a hand I back. have the perfect thing. Let me give you a hand. Here you go. Oh, you look, you've this got two. That's exactly what you need. Well, I, we got this theme going, so I feel like we're all color coordinated right now. You've got a yes. few more colors than I do, but that's okay. This is good. This is good. Got these white gloves to represent kindness, reaching out to others. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see, we got kindness, compassion, humility. Now, humility is a really interesting word. Did you know that humility comes from the same word as human? And this might seem kind of strange, comes from the same word as hummus? What? What? What's going on there? Humility, human, hummus, all means it goes back to earth and soil. At the very beginning of the Bible, we learn that human beings are created out of the earth itself. We are human people, creatures of, of the earth. And so we're connected in an important way to one another, to the earth, and God loves us and cares about us. So being humble isn't about thinking badly of yourself. It's about thinking about yourself as God's child, filled with God's spirit to do what God has called us to do in connection with others, in connection to all creation. Humility. Do you have anything for humility? Um, oh, you know, as I'm thinking about it, one of the things that I think about humility is that if you understand your deep connection to God and to the earth and to one another, it kind of frees you. It frees you up to not take yourself quite so seriously. It, you know, you might even be able to get a little goofy and silly. Do you have anything that might, a you know? A little goofy. I might have exactly what you need. Oh, this is going to be perfect for you. Look at this. It's a goofy <laughs> hat. It's going to look perfect with your outfit. You have humbled, what do you guys think? humbled me, good? Holly. Yes, let's give him a hand there. We think that's perfect. <laughs> now he's looking good, right? Okay, so um, I'm feeling a little humble this morning. Uh, so from humility, um, meekness. Meekness, another one of these really hard words, meekness, meekness. So when we think of meekness, it can be easy to think of weakness because it rhymes. And we know pastors love things that rhyme. But we meekness does not mean weakness. It is actually a kind of strength about meekness. It's the strength of a kind of restraint, keeping control. So do you have anything that might that might show like keeping control, having restraint, helping take maybe some some of those yeah. big feelings or those big experiences and channeling them into ways that are good and helpful and and kind yes. and compassionate? Okay, what So Michael, many years ago I did Taekwondo. And this is my black belt that I would like for you to wear because it reminds me of everything that you just said. It's perfect. This is. I've never, I've never done karate, taekwondo, or anything that involves a belt like this. So we're going to do our Looking best good. here. Perfect. All right, awesome. So we've got, we've got, let's see, we've got compassion, we've got kindness, we've got humility, we've got meekness. And then St. Paul also talks about that you want to have patience. 
patience. Patience. Anything that might represent hmm. patience for you. I don't think the bacon will work. No, probably uh, not in continuity with the Hebrew scriptures. Or, okay. or, or the shark. But do you guys want to hear a funny shark joke really quick? Oh. So thinking about patience, I'm going to let Michael wait just a minute. So here's a funny shark joke. What was a shark's favorite sandwich? Peanut butter and jellyfish. All right. Do you think Michael's been patient with my jokes? Yeah? Okay, let's figure out what else can we add to his outfit. Maybe this. Oh, that's great, Holly. That's perfect. There you go. Yeah, when, when, this, when the storms happen, when, when rains come, I mean, an umbrella reminds us that we can be patient and be where we are. And so part of patience is, 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 being, is being centered in the place that we are no matter what else is going on with us. And so this is a way to remember that even when the storms come, we can be where we are and find the protection we need and be patient with the storms until they pass. Oh, this is great patience. And it's hard with this hat, but I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> um, what else? Let's see. So, so, so St. Paul talks about all of these things. Clothe yourselves with compassion with kindness, with um, humility, with, um, with meekness, and with patience. Okay, this is great. But then, but then says to bear with one another. And then and goes on to talk about what that means a little bit. That, that, you know, sometimes we might have disagreements. Sometimes we might say things that we don't mean or that can hurt people's feelings. And St. Paul tells the church, we got to learn how to forgive each other. we got to bear with each other. Bear with each other. Do you have anything for Oh, this one's my favorite. I think you're going to like it very much. Check it out. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Bare feet. <laughs> what do you think? Should you put those on? Yeah. yeah. Holly, you've never met a homophone you didn't like. This is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to well, watch so out. Good. Bear with me. Oh, I Bear see. Bear with oh, you. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Yeah, see. Okay, shouldn't it? I look like a goofy doctor <laughs> bear. Goofy, this is harder than I thought. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, that's warm. That's nice. Okay, that's this good. is feeling good. Okay, so right now, I am looking so much like a Christian. It's incredible. Um, <laughs> and then above all, Kendall read to us, above all, clothe yourselves with love. Clothe yourselves with love. Now, I've been paying attention to children's moments. I know Pastor Holly has something for love. What do you, there it is. My heart costume. I think we should have him put this on his outfit. What do you think? <laughs> Definitely. You can't let the kids down, Michael. There you go. And I'll stand on the mountain. <laughs> you listened. I love it. We got a lot of great designers over here that are telling Michael exactly what he needs to be doing with his beautiful outfit. Yeah. Put the hat back on. Put the hat back. And oh. he's missing something else. What's the other thing? The belt. Yes, the belt. That's right. So I do. Uh, oh. We're gonna have the goofy the ears bag. help me with my microphone here. Perfect. And then uh, we'll put the we'll put meekness. Good back on, restraint, back on over the heart. Oh, I'm, this is really coming together. It says that the, um, clothe yourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. It is love that brings the whole outfit together. Oh, you're right. I don't know where the doctor, th oh, it's right here. Oh, oh, the doctor bag. Yes, I do need the doctor bag. And oh, the umbrella. And the umbrella. Perfect. Thank you but all. <laughs> I don't think we're quite done yet. Oh, okay. What else? Let's Saint see. St. Paul continues. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which mm. indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. The peace. Do you have anything to represent the peace of Christ? I think this would be perfect. This beautiful cross necklace. Oh, and is... everybody else is cheering you on. They want you to wear it too. Yes! How's that look, y'all? Should he go to the grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> to the grocery store. To the grocery store. This is special. Um, so this is what it means to look like a Christian. You like it? 
Okay, so maybe, maybe we've taken this a bit too literally, Pastor Holly, though I think we've had a lot of fun. Um, I do, part of, what, part of what St. Paul is talking about, this is really important, is to stay where we are. <laughs> Check one, two. Is to stay. Part of what St. Paul is talking about is wanting what comes out of us, represented by all these pieces, to match what's inside of us, who we are as Christians. And so St. Paul gives us a really good way of remembering all the things that it means to be a Christian. And guess what? It doesn't mean that you have to look quite this silly. But when we show compassion, kindness, Meekness. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, huh. humility. <laughs> and patience. Very good. When we show all of these things knit together with a heart of love, we show the very peace of Christ to others that will be so obvious, it's as if we are wearing a costume that they can see. And so St. Paul, in this letter, was trying to remind the church that we are called to be together in this kind of way, to bear with one another in forgiveness, and not to be complaining against one another, but learning how to love one another so much better in the very way of Christ. So I would like to remember this moment. I'd like to take, my, ch my children once said that we don't always need a picture, that you can take a picture with your heart. So I want to take a heart picture right now, take you all in, and then I'd like to take a literal picture to remember this day forever. But take a look around right now at the creativity. Take a look around at this, your church family, the people that you are called to love. Take a look at the beautiful trees with the fall leaves on them. Feel the air. This is a beautiful day to remember to hold dear. And now, have any of you ever heard of a selfie? Yeah. I haven't taken a selfie in church since I was installed here some six years ago. So I want, can, you, can you say hello? Oh, there we are. Oh, perfect. We'll get the folks in the camera at home. And now I'd love, I'd love to take a picture of you all. Y'all look fantastic. This is a snapshot of the body of Christ. You all are the body of Christ. And we're called to dress up in the character of Christ and with Christ's love, compassion, humility, meekness, patience, to bear with one another, have a little humility, and to have some fun. Will you pray with me? We, I invite you to repeat after me. And everyone, children of all ages, can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for Christ, who shows us how to dress up like a Christian with all the costumes of love. Help us to love this day and every day. Amen. Thank you all. You all can go back to your seats, and we're going to share in communion together in just a moment.
The Lord be with you. Give thanks to the Lord. Oh, I switched. Let's try this again. My apologies. I have a little humility this morning. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. In a moment, I'm going to invite those of you who are seated, sitting out to come forward and to receive prepackaged, individually wrapped communion from a tray. Um, for those of you who would rather remain in your cars or remain in your seats, you are invited to signal to uh, one of our deacons who will come and um, hand the tray to you and you can take those. Or perhaps you bought, brought communion from home or from, where, um, from wherever and are going to take that this morning. That's okay too. When you come forward uh, this morning, you'll, be in, um, you'll hear a blessing over you from either myself or uh, student minister Jennifer Smith. Words of blessing on these elements, these special and precious elements. And then you can return to your seats uh, to, for prayer, meditation, and a chance to take them when you are ready as the music plays. One of the things I love about the creativity and the beauty of this moment is being reminded that all people, Captain Marvel, some long-haired hippies, people dressed up in every different way from stories here and there, all of us, storied, creative, uniquely our own, are called to gather around this table and at this table we belong. Because it is not me or even this church but Christ himself who is the host of this table, who opens his arms wide in that love we talked about earlier, that compassion and that kindness to bring everyone together to know what it is to bear with one another in forgiveness and be one people, loved, forgiven, and sent forth. And so it is this morning I invite you to receive the blessing over these elements, receive the meaning of these elements, remember the story of Jesus, who showed us what it means to dress up in the way of faith, who showed us what it means to be the people of God. And so you were invited, whether you're a member of South Elkhorn or you're visiting, no matter how you felt this last week or what you're carrying with you, you are invited to this table to share in the bread and the cup together. Won't you come and eat? The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat the bread, and you drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Well, our Father, who art in heaven, give us the thanks for the sun. I don't need thank you. For the sun's rays that warm us, for the people around us that give us strength. And as we partake of the bread and the wine, may we remember your Son, Jesus Christ, and all that he has given for us. Amen.
church. I love to worship with God and the church and my family. This is the time to give our money, time, and love, and to be kind and help the poor and to help the people who are in need. Thank you for your generous support of South, of South Elkhorn. You can go to the church website to give online, or you can give in the giving box. That's where I'm going to take my money. If God is calling you into Christ's deeper way of love, to join in a community of faith, I would love to welcome you. Please let us know, let Michael or Holly or myself know if you'd like to learn more about discipleship or becoming a member of South Elkhorn Christian Church. Well, before we leave this morning, I do need some help with the announcements, so um, I'll, we'll go with a dinosaur-themed announcement this morning. Thank you, Charlie. Come on up here. Love it. Before I start, before I start, my dinosaur would like to say something. Rawr. With that being said, next week we will wear masks and worship in the CMC. You can also watch the service on live stream online. Car, car for Mag Morgan, Margie Drake. Margie Drake is one of our homebound members. She has a birthday this Tuesday. I think she'll be eight, 98. The, the Sunshine Ministry has an all-church birthday card for you to sign. If you haven't already, please take a moment to mo take a moment following worship to sign the card. Margie is under hospice care, so let's make a special effort to bring a smile to her face, showing her that we love her and those of you who are watching online. What a kind gesture it would be if you send her a a card, Margie a card. You can connect to the church office for the best place to send a, the card. And we, 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 have, we have given Charlie quite the announcement there, so well done for that long announcement. You rocked it, well done. He's got a, he's got a few more for you. They only get better. Here we go, ready? Please help after the service by Stacking the chairs in the CMC. Youth, youth groups resume following worship on November 7th, bringing picnic orange and pick up at 12.45 p.m. Make your, mark your calendars. Drive through Bethlehem is back on Saturday, December 11th. Uh, opportunities. opportunities to sign up will be shared soon. Find out more at the church website. Great and, job, Charlie. And the dinosaur agrees. <laughs> and the dinosaur agrees, he said. 
Thank you, Charlie. That was awesome. Quick recap. Next week, we will be indoors. November 7th, we'll be starting indoor worship. Please wear a mask and be mindful of social distance. The card from R.G. Drake is circulating, and if you would like to send her your own card, you can contact the church office. Uh, Please help after the service by stacking chairs in the CMC. Youth group is resuming next week as well, following worship with lunch and pick up at 1245. And then, yes, mark your calendars. Drive through Bethlehem. You can find more online. We'll be sharing more about sign-up opportunities in the weeks ahead. Thank you again, Charlie. And before we go uh, this morning, we have the opportunity to be blessed on our departure and hear uh, some good news, some good news this morning as well. So we have a special candle to blow out this morning. It's a birthday boy candle, and Nora's going to tell you why we have a birthday boy candle. Um, my baby brother was born on Friday. <laughs> Before we change the light, please use your imagination and think of a candle in your mind. Now it is time to change the light. The light that was in one place at one time is now in all places at all times at all times in this very room and everywhere we go. Amen.